most famous Paul Cezanne paintings. Paul Cezanne was a French artist and post-impressionist painter. His exploration of geometric simplification and optical phenomena inspired many painters to experiment with simplifications and complex multiple views. These are some of his famous paintings. The Large Bathers The Bathers represents a manifesto for all those who wanted to represent a non-commercial encounter trend art. The women are painted with a strong thickness and fit geometrically perfectly to the whole context. The Bathers represent a tribute that Cezanne decides to pay to the great masters of the past, such as Titian and Rubens. The strong brightness that the whole painting is due to the color that was placed several times on the canvas, which allowed Cezanne to obtain the necessary light to achieve the final effect, the strong black lines that delimit the contours of the Cezanne bathers, making them look like real statues, rather than painted. The Basket of Apples In the central part of the painting, there is an inclined bottle and on its left there is a basket that is overturned in the opposite direction concerning the inclination of the bottle, giving a feeling of disorientation. To the right of the bottle, there is a plate with cookies, which matches the same direction as the right side of the table. The Card Players The two players engaged in the card game are isolated from the other customers of the club. They are seated at a simple wooden table on which a bottle of wine closed by a cork is placed. The man on the left is wearing a jacket and a hat. While carefully evaluating his cards he smokes a pipe. The player on the right seems younger and dresses more casually. The boy in a red vest A boy is portrayed in the center of the painting. He is seated at a table facing right. His torso is curved and wearily supported by his left arm. The boy's head rests on the hand that supports his cheek. He wears simple clothes and a white shirt with a red fabric waistcoat on the front and ochre color on the back. The Bather The painting depicts a bather wearing only a small white costume standing in the center of the canvas. He is of medium height with big feet. His face is bent towards the ground and his position is frontal. The land is devoid of vegetation and looks like a sandy beach. The sky occupies the upper half of the canvas while the lower one is reserved for the landscape. A Modern Olympia In 1874, the artist used brighter colors and more dynamic design. The movement, aroused by the maid that undresses Olympia while a spectator observes her developing another curious movement that ends with the curtain on the left. Chateau Noir It is impossible to determine the spatial relationship between the castle and the trees, there is a flattened effect, where these two elements appear to be directly on top of each other. The mountain is clearly in the background, but it's hard to tell how far it is. These details simply weren't important to Cezanne, who cared more about depicting deeper truths than simply reproducing what he saw in front of him.
Mont Saint Victoire seen from Bellevue. Many trees and bushes partially cover the village. Small houses with sloping roofs can be seen. On the horizon rises the spur of the mountain facing right. He undertook to recover the form through a search for progressive simplification of the figure. Curtain, jug, and fruit. In his still live the objects are always those of everyday life. The jug, the two plates, and the fruits are represented on a simple table with cloths and fabrics. In the different paintings the arrangement of the objects and the point of view change. The intimate nature of these works reveals Cezanne's introverted character. Pyramid of Skulls Depicts four human skulls in a pyramid configuration. Painted in a pale light against a dark background. These skulls are piled one above the other and one behind the other, on a desk, a piece of paper taken at random under the two lower skulls, which are themselves precariously perched on the edge of the desk, facing one another. Mainsey Bridge The arches of the road leading to the bridge are painted on the left and the right uphill. The bridge is built with simple wooden planks that finish the roadway and the protective backs. Images of the structure and vegetation are reflected in the water. Beyond the building rises a dense forest with tall, thin trunks of trees rising beyond the upper edge of the painting. Turning Road at Montgerold The lower part of the painting is occupied by a large green lawn, with the road making a bend to the right to reach the town. Behind a low wall, some trees protrude. Above, you can see the small houses of the village and among them some trees. The sky takes up a small portion of the painting above and is cloudless. Mont Saint Victoire and the Viaduct of the Arc River Valley. The painting seems to be painted in a hurry, with a dense weave of vertical, furious, broken, almost feverish brushstrokes. You have the impression of looking at an out of focus image, a flow of color sensations, an abstract painting of vibrant forest, an undecipherable upholstery. Listake, melting snow. The color sustains the violence of the hurricane represented in the painting. A blackish tint permeates the landscape and even snow looks like a partner of black. Painted in stark contrast, with an overwhelming, almost monotonous fury that captures the essence of a changing scene to also express a gloomy and desperate state of mind, the image has some subtle tones, the variable whites of the snow and the many grays, including the warm tones of the Middle Earth nestled between the red roofs. Portrait of Gustave Geoffroy Gustave Geoffroy was an art critic who had written a positive article in 1894 against Cézanne, who until then had been discriminated against and outclassed with negative comments. The House with the Cracked Walls The Neighborhood The Abduction Piero and Harlequin
Thanks for watching and subscribe to support the channel.